Hey YouTube people, today we're going to take a look at this. And no, you're not experiencing deja vu. While we've looked at other similar cameras to this one, this one is the TN900RW. And this particular camera has some really cool features that we're going to discuss that differentiate it. I've never seen a camera that does the things that this will do. And what it will do, I'll give you a hint, it integrates more closely with home automation than any other camera I've seen before. So, uh, First of all, let's take a look at the overall base unit. So we've got the camera here. Um, it is really similar to other PTZ cameras from Compro. Really great design, really nice looking, um, especially if you like the portal look. No, just kidding. Um, so uh, I really like these, uh, especially their newer cameras. They use really quiet motors that, uh, that turn even better than some of their older cameras that they used to have. Uh, so really quiet motor. Uh, this particular model has both a microphone, but also speakers. Uh, you can actually speak right through the camera using the C4 Home app, which we'll discuss later. So we look on the back, we've got both wireless and wired network capabilities. We've got some audio ports, a WPS and reset button, um, and then your power port right there. So uh, really great camera. We're going to take a closer look at it starting now. Okay, so we're going to do the unboxing of the TN900RW. Um, but just first, a quick look at the box. You can see it uh, has a unique feature of the exclusive IR remote controller, advanced temperature detection, and then the standard uh, camera features of mobile PTZ, preset points, uh, day and night with infrared. On the back, you can see. Um, we're going to be using the C4 Home app for all this. We've looked at that in the past. Um, some of the specifications. Uh, and then on the bottom, a picture of the package contents. Let's open it up and take a look. So, really nicely packaged as usual from Compro. They just kind of have this free sleeve that kind of protects everything and details the product. And then you have your white box delivery. Inside the box, we have, of course, adequate packaging, the camera, very similar to others we've looked at, great looking cameras in my estimation, especially if you like uh, Portal or Portal 2. Just kidding. Um, also in the box. AC adapter. Wi-Fi adapter. Screw mounts. LAN cable. Wall mounting plate. Installation guide for the Wi-Fi. Uh, manual, Compro software, always good stuff on here. So let's take a look at the PS100. I'm excited to take a look at this. It's a power IR switch. The user guide this is what lets you do the remote control functions. So kind of an interesting looking device there. Uh, you've got an on off switch and an infrared sensor on there. So we'll be taking a look at what this is able to do in just a moment. Okay, let's first take a look at this PS100 infrared switch that really on, it, on its own uh, is a good addition to anyone who's interested in home automation. Um, I say that because uh, you can use any old remote that you have lying around the house, like maybe an old TV remote, um, to control uh, these devices. So it really opens up the door to being able, being able to use any remote you want. You don't need to buy a fancy uh, remote at all to use this thing. Um, so let's take a look. First you have your basic on-off switch that if you press that button, 
the light turns on and off. Now, let's say I wanted to use it with the remote. So what you would do is hold down the button until you see the red light flashing. And then you can pair it with the remote. I'm going to use the 5 key here. You could use any button. So now that I set that 5 key, you saw the red light flash. And now I have a remote control for whatever appliance I have plugged into that device. There you go. On, off, on, off, on, off. Works really responsively and uh, it's pretty nice. So uh, now we can see how this might tie into uh, the camera itself, which we'll take a look at now. Okay, let's take a look at the TN900RW and see just how easy it is to set up. Now, you've seen this before in some of my videos about compro cameras, but I have here the C4 Home application uh, just stock, just barely set up, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to hook the camera to your phone. Now the only thing I've done on this camera is press the WPS button on the bat, back of it uh, to link it to my Wi-Fi router, and that's it. So uh, in the C4 Home app, I'm going to hit the plus button here, and it's going to say, hey, give me a barcode to scan, and the camera on the bottom has this little... QR code and there we go linked with the camera so I love that about Compro's setup it's it's always so easy to use so let's go in here and you can see already we've got uh, a live video feed right there and you can control the movement of the camera um, left right whatever you want to do so real similar to the other cameras we reviewed from Compro, it even has, I mean it has all the features that, that those cameras have, uh, it even has the push to talk. So you have an onboard, have an onboard speaker, there. speaker there. So that's really nice, onboard speaker and microphone on this little camera, uh, which is really great to use. You have your little alarm notification, so if you want to scare someone who's breaking into your house, you have that feature, you want to scare away some birds or something, whatever. Um, little mute button, you can take snapshots. The other really neat thing about this camera is, I don't know if you can see there, but it has a temperature gauge. So you're getting live feedback of how uh, warm or cold that room is. It's a great feature for people with pets. Um, yeah, a lot of people use web cameras to kind of keep an eye on on dogs or whatever, and, and, and knowing the temperature that, that the room's at really helps. It gives them some peace of mind. So um, let's look at the more advanced features of this camera. Uh, the great thing about it is if you slide this over here, uh, you can see it has uh, some buttons here. And these buttons allow you to program uh, the, the infrared. This uh, camera has its own infrared uh, broadcaster. So if I hold down a button in this channel, I'm going to go ahead and press that same 5 key that I used to program the light. And it says, new key learned. So now, if I press that button, let's get that on the camera so you can see. Uh, I can go ahead and, and from my phone now, I'm now controlling that light on and off. So uh, really cool feature there. It, it's almost turn that light off and scoot it back over. So what that allows you to do now is you basically can integrate this little camera in infinite ways with existing home automation. You can also program it to all kinds of different keys. Uh, you could have the sawn off button uh, tied into a television and you know turn the TV on or off even change the channels on the TV the volume uh, you know almost an infinite amount of things that you could do with this camera and the great thing is is it it'll work with anything so you just program the same keys that you want it to learn off of your TV remote or uh, an automated uh, dog feeder cat feeder 
uh, anything you'd want it to do, anything that has infrared, it will integrate with. So it, it's a real great complement to a, an existing home automation system. So uh, I'm really impressed uh, and you can see just on the fly how it was able to just work. Uh, that's one thing I've always been really impressed by Compro's products is I'll do a first take and and run through things and it'll just work. I don't have to fiddle with oh why isn't it working? You know, it's just it's just works. It's really great. So um, I'm always impressed by by Compro's products, especially with this new C4 Home. Uh, it it really lets you start using their products right away. Uh, I'll show you another little feature. You can turn it sideways, and and here you can see the quality of this camera. This is the 720p camera here, uh, so that's actually really great. You tap and you can get the same functionalities on a bigger screen. Uh, do a screenshot or whatever. So really impressed with this new camera. It's it's really great to have it integrate with home automation because that's you know I love home automation. Uh, there'll be more videos on that soon, but uh, let's look at the back here. You've got your Wi-Fi, you've got your wired LAN if you choose to run it that way, micro SD port, uh, and audio out and imports there. So you don't need these audio out and imports, but if you wanted to uh, hook it up to a larger stereo system, you know, run that alarm on <laughs> off your home stereo, it'd be pretty loud. So. Um, I'm super impressed by this new capability. Uh, you'd be able to, you know, even, you know, if you've got kids at home, kind of log, log in and have this up in the top of the room and, and they're watching too much TV, you just turn the TV off on them, you know, it, so they can't, can't do that anymore. So it's a great feature. It's, uh, I mean, the, the, the options are limitless with it. You could really use it for so many things, you know, the infrared capabilities on this camera are there but say you wanted to just you know turn the light on to be able to take a look around and see what's going on in a room that you're monitoring uh, and then immediately turn it off afterwards uh, it's just a really good idea from Compro to expand their line so I'm pretty impressed with it it's been working flawlessly and you can see also it was able to broadcast that IR signal even without looking directly at the little infrared receiver uh, so even you know not usually it I, I'm assuming it broadcasts either out of here or these IR uh, ports and it's not even facing the receiver but you you saw how it was able to still you know turn the light on or off without directly looking at it so I don't know if that's what they were at would advertise but in my usage I'm I'm getting that type of performance off of the infrared blaster on the camera. Obviously you could turn the camera to any direction to be able to uh, broadcast. So uh, really impressed with the TN900 RW. Let's wrap it up. So all in all, what did I think of the TN900 RW? Well, if you needed a reason to get another webcam, uh, this would definitely be it. Uh, think about all the possibilities you can have with a camera that can interact with infrared with all your other devices. You can have it turn on a TV, you can have it uh, change the thermostat, turn on a fan, turn on a light. Uh, with the PS100 uh, unit from Compro, you can also turn any device on uh, using their infrared uh, sensor wired right into the AC plug. Um, so it, it really can integrate really closely. I mean, you could basically control your uh, home media center uh, using that infrared on the camera through you know just remotely so uh, it's really neat to be able to use that um, and and any other device you might be using in home automation you know what that might be in your own situation but you could now use it via this device so um, the device in general is a great webcam it's 720p uh, you got 802 11n you've got you know a a whole host of, of, of audio out, audio in on this, uh, night vision IR, uh, just like in some of the other great Compro cameras we've looked at. So uh, very impressed with this camera. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, pick it up. You can get it, find it at Newegg. It's about $319 um, for this particular model with all these advanced features. So 
Uh, this is definitely my pick right now for a uh, HD camera that does absolutely everything. Thanks for watching this tech review of the Compro TN900RW. Uh, please subscribe, take a look at the links, and join us soon for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.